I just realized the mark on my nose here. I got something like a, a scab here a while ago, and now it's showing up. But I guess I can't be. I can't be held. But anyways, hello everybody. Wonderful to see you again. Um. So I made a f so. I think my last video was about chokers. I said, yeah, chokers are really nice. They're probably not good for the season right now because as you can see, it's a little warmer here. So wearing a choker is probably not the most ideal thing. So I'm just wearing silver now, but I did make a, ne um, a necklace. So I'll show you that now too. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, necklace, okay. Um, where is it? around here somewhere. So I I went on the, so I have a site that I like to buy Preciosa and uh, I think Swarovski. No, Swarovski you can't, you, don't, you have to have a contract or something to buy Swarovski nowadays. So I just buy Preciosa. But Preciosa, aside from crystal beads, they also make, um, I think it's called Bohemica. I have to find it. What is it called? It's, um, oh, Preciosa Ornella. Okay. So the ones I had was this one. Can you see it? Yeah, I bought these. It came with 30. They were on sale, so they were really pretty. So I bought this, and I made a necklace out of that. I found it around here somewhere. I can't find it. Oh my goodness. Um, no, it was really pretty too. It's, um, it, I think it's called Thorn. Yeah, it's called Thorn. And it's, it is ex exceptionally beautiful. I, I have to confess, I believe it's exceptionally beautiful. By the way, this is my pencil case I got from India. India. Oh. Our furry friend is here. My furry friend. Okay, he wants to sit in my lap, so I'm gonna let him. He has his tail. Oh, don't step in the dark. Hi. Come on. Oh, I'm right here, don't worry. Come here, come here. One second, I have to calm, my, calm the beast before I can show you the necklace, because right now both my hands are occupied. Do you want to lay over there? You can lay over here. What's wrong? Do you want the sunshine? Here, sunshine. Oh my goodness, I gotta clean this whole area. What's wrong? Do you want to sit in my lap? Come sit in my lap. You are more than welcome to if you'd like to. Come here. No. Come here. Yes, sit, sit. Oh, lay down. You gonna lay down? Go ahead. You go right down. Okay. So I made so those or these beads. Yeah, I used these beads. They're kind of spiky, as you can see. I really like them because of spikes. I don't know why, but when it comes to a, a necklace that has spikes, I'm not saying I want it to be the point where if you touch it, you start to get a nick on your finger. But I like those kinds of necklaces because I think they accentuate the natural lines of the shoulder that go up toward the neck. And I have a skinny neck, very skinny neck, so it kind of helps, to, it actually accentuates that too. So anyways, and this is a necklace, I think I posted it on Instagram. So if I were to wear it, I actually don't have findings on it, but I could probably just place it on my neck. Yeah, it looks very nice, fairly nice. I'd say it looks fairly nice. I'd say it looks very, fairly presentable. Fairly presentable? I would say it's fairly presentable. So I'm totally fine with it. It is very nice, and I'd say it's fairly presentable. But I also made, um, you know, chokers. So I made a necklace for summer because this is glass, or it's beads that are, that are made of ceramic. Well, some of the beads are, let me show you. So as you can see, the these thorns are from Preciosa Ornella, while the ones in between, those are um, uh, Toho beads. So they're from Japan, and these are from the Czech Republic. So they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think the thread, so interestingly enough, I actually did not use um, Nico G, which is a pretty good thread. It it can fray, but I. It, but in my case, I actually just use fishing line because um, it turns out fire line or wildfire or Fireline, one of the threads out there that are used predominantly in the Western world when it comes to jewelry making for necklaces, like a beaded necklace, is, um, I think it's Fireline, but that actually turns out to be um, a fishing line originally, but then it went over to be used for jewelry. So I just went and bought this one. 
And I just use this for the necklace because, you know, Fireline is very... Yeah, I actually use Fireline too, but I... It is rather expensive, and then there are alternatives like this that work just fine. Plus, I'm not going to be pulling on this necklace as if I need a, you know, you know, anything serious. So, it works very fine, very much fine, and it's pretty sturdy too. I mean, it does stretch and bounce back, but that's expected. Just put that back around my neck during the duration of this video here. Yeah, I think it looks very nice. So yeah. I also made that necklace, but I also made, in response to how I had, you know, a lace choker, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I had something on my wrist too? So I made this, which is a bracelet, and I don't have the metal findings on it yet, but it is pretty nice, see? I mean, it's very hard to move because I can't, I'm sitting with my cat in my lap, but I think it's very nice. And once I put the, the metal on it, it can be fairly nice. I mean, with my watch next to it, and I think it's pretty presentable. <laughs> but yeah, I also have been making some, yeah, here's another version. Here's one. Oh, my necklace. Here we are. There. Much better. Preciosa is so pretty. I really like Preciosa. See if I unbutton my shirt a little as such, and you can see like a, a, a peak of Preciosa. But here's one different bracelet, as you can see. I I designed all of these designs myself, okay? So I didn't steal it from any... I know people... You know, it's interesting. So another topic I want to talk about. You know, I read... I was on TikTok the other... Not TikTok. I don't do TikTok. TikTok is... Ugh. But anyways, I was on Instagram. Don't go anywhere. Where are you going? But I was on Instagram the other day, and I saw this post where somebody um, had written a comment. Oh. Someone had written a comment or something under a video and uh, the 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 comment the commenter the original commenter my cat is up here so I can now the original commenter had actually written something that was pretty articulate and pretty smart and the words were pretty uh, mostly understandable and it was mess up 